video games and my opinions on them. I am your host, Daka Douglas, aka the Unhero, and I'm I'm not a happy camper right now. I'm pretty mad. I had two videos in the works, one of which was supposed to go up today, and another video which was supposed to go up tomorrow, but those videos are gonna have to get pushed back because sadly, I have to talk about this. Oh boy, I am really not looking forward to this, but as a gamer and as a YouTube content creator, it is my sworn duty to inform you guys of stuff like this because more people really need to skull more people really need to call these dope wads out for what they are doing. So what I'm gonna be talking about today of course so I woke up this morning and went on N4G.com and I saw an article that really piqued my interest. It was basically an article out in Zoe Quinn. I'll share more about who she is in just a minute having sex with a writer from Kotaku in exchange for positive press. And if that's and on top of that, she had sex with four other guys, one of which was her boss and was a married man. And the other two are indie game developers. You I'll put their names right you can see their names right here. And I have a screen cap Showcasing all these five guys. Check it out. These five guys should absolutely be ashamed of themselves for having sex with this woman in exchange for positive press. I guess morals really are dead, aren't they? Shame, shame, shame. So yeah, links to all their Twitter handles will be in the description down below. And if that, if that isn't bad enough, her ex-boyfriend Aaron started up a WordPress blog called the Zoe Post. Basically exposing Zoe Quinn to be a liar, a manipulator, and a cheater. She's basically been victimizing herself over the past few years to essentially garner sympathy from the industry at large. <clears throat> and nothing really drives this home nothing really drives this point home more than a video made by a YouTube user who goes by the name of the Internet Aristocrat, who posted a 21-minute long video called Conspiracy the Five Guys Saga. It's a really well made video. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can watch it. And I will be mirroring that video and re uploading it on my YouTube channel uh, at a later point in time because I have a funny feeling the video might get taken down. So it's important that we act now and have this video stay up and have the message, you know, you know, be still be heard. And he basically gave his blessing to do so, and I will be enabling Creative Commons attribution, so anybody who wants to mirror the video can. <sighs> and when the scandal broke out, you know, like yesterday, I just heard about it this morning, naturally, of course, you're going to have some white knights defending her. And that's exactly what happened. Of course, the asshats known as Phil Fish, otherwise known as the creator of Bez, basically jumped into her Zoe Quinn's defense, calling gamers a bunch of subhuman little shits and animals and saying that we're a bunch of ca saying we're a bunch of cowards. Which is really, really ironic coming from someone like him, because he was the one that cancelled Fest 2 due to all the negative criticism he was receiving and he couldn't handle it. I have a screen cap of that, and I'm going to show it to you guys, because unlike Phil Fish or Zoe Quinn or any of these other people, I actually have evidence to back up what I'm saying. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the tweets of a white knight in training. It's so beautiful, yet it's so disgusting. The scandal that's broken out today has truly proven to me that, that the gaming journalism is truly full of shit. And it's incredibly disheartening to see people take the medium that I love and have grown up with for over 15 years and essentially just wipe their asses with it. Because that's essentially what they're doing. And again, if that's not bad enough, the plot thickens. Zoe Quinn actually filed a copyright takedown on Monday Matt's video, Hell Half No Fairly Like a Scorn Mother. Thankfully, it's been re-uploaded, but even still, it's still a scummy practice. The reason she took it down for copyright 
is because Monday Matt used a picture from a game called Depression Quest. Even though, if you watch Monday Matt's videos, he does that in all of his videos. He has a banner with a title and an image. That's what his videos consist of. And she apparently, she wanted to protect her intellectual property, which is a load of bullshit, because she's not trying to protect her copyright or intellectual property. She's trying to suppress criticism and silence her detractors to make them go away. That is what she's doing. Seriously. And honestly, this, this is just sickening. This is absolutely sickening. Not only the fact that you would cheat on somebody that loved you for your own personal gain, to essentially hype up your own game, but to have sex with gaming journalists who we're supposed to trust to give us the straight dope on what's hot in the gaming industry, then how are we really supposed to trust you and ensure that you're credible? Like, why would you do that? It's pretty obvious to me that you're not in the gaming industry because you love the video games and you love the medium. You're pretty much in it to guard our attention for yourself. And seriously, though, Anybody, and I mean anybody, that engages in this type of behavior and thinks it's okay to false flag people and suppress criticism and silence detractors instead of having an open, honest dialogue for criticism and then bitching moan when people criticize you, all those people, including Zoe Quinn, and this is a message to Zoe Quinn and everybody who engages in this bullshit, seriously, all of you can really go fuck yourselves. Let me say that again for those of you who didn't hear it. You can all go fuck yourselves. As far as I'm concerned, because this type of behavior is disgusting. It is despicable, and anybody that engages in it is a despicable, disgusting person that shouldn't be on the internet, as far as I'm concerned. But it's... And, and, it, and, and what's even more maddening is that major game websites will not pick up this story because they want to cover up any wrongdoings, you know, because they don't want the story getting out because it could be damaging to their career and it could be bringing their journalistic integrity into question. You know? <sighs> My god. Like I said, this proves to me that the gaming, gaming journalism is corrupt and that they'll do anything to cover it up. In fact, while I was researching for this very video this morning, her, she changed Twitter handles. It used to be called Zoe Quinzel, which was a play on Harley Quinzel, for those of you who read the Batman mythos or whatever, to the Quinspiracy, which sums up herself perfectly. It is a conspiracy of queen-sized proportions. And she didn't change Twitter handles because, you, you know, she's being harassed. No, she changed Twitter handles to sort of cover up any evidence of her wrongdoing. But really, everybody sees you doing this. You know, we're not stupid. We were not born yesterday. You know, we're see we see what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. You know, because we know you. The only reason that you changed Twitter handles was to cover up all your wrongdoings. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show you right now how easy it is to display an image of anything. It doesn't matter if it's a game, movie, whatever. I'm going to show it to you right now. Hopefully this doesn't get taken down for copyright, but you know social justice warriors. They can dish out criticism, but they certainly can't take it themselves. It's sad where we've come to a point where we can't even trust gaming journalists to deliver good, quality, honest gaming news. So sad. I have to say this. I will be enabling the Creative Commons uh, license on this video. So those of you who want to mirror the video can spread it everywhere. We need to spread the word about this because this is sick and should not be accepted within the game industry. And to honestly, to Zoe Quinn and everybody that acts like this, seriously, fuck Zoe Quinn, fuck Phil Fish, fuck Nathan Grayson, fuck all these social justice warriors, fuck anybody who supports this type of behavior and thinks it's okay, and fuck anybody who will white knight this behavior and think it's just no big deal, I will sweep it under the rug. That's really all I have to say about this particular topic. <sighs> this is that kid Douglas, aka the Unhero, signing out. Stay frosty and keep it weird. Deuces. Sonic, take us home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Nice smile. I'm on my I'm running cause I can't have 